Hello friends, Ben here with another video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And since I joined the Patina Thunderdome contest, I've been motivated to make uh, videos about footwear. And I decided today in this video to go over this pair of uh, Irish Setter uh, boots. The Irish Setter brand is a sub brand owned by Red Wings. So if you are buying a, a, a Irish Setter style boot, or, or choose you will be buying uh, something made by Red Winds. A little description about the boots. These ones are the mock toe style. They have a 360 degree uh, Goodyear welt and they have the standard found in this style of boots uh, wedge sole. I bought the boots because the popularity of this style. Uh, I have many co-workers that they swear by this this style of boots and um, I thought I'd try them myself. I also seen a lot of people posting in uh, different social media platforms about these boots. So I thought I'd try them. Uh, these ones are pretty much entry level uh, brand. So they are uh, under $200 um, price, but uh, still a good uh, pair of boots. Now, uh, this one I said they were the uh, wind shooters by Irish Setters. Uh, I got this style and they uh, turn out to be uh, hunting uh, boots. They also make for work, but this one specifically are for hunting. That's one thing I didn't know when I got them. Uh, but um, still, I have a few things that I like and also a few things that I didn't like. Number one, uh, some of the things I like is that the comfort in this boot. This one's uh, with the wet sole very very comfortable almost feel like a wearing sneakers while you're wearing boots uh, also very roomy this i think it's because the motto i don't know uh, but i found it to be uh, very very roomy inside i have room to move my toes around and it's fine now because these ones are hunting boots they are fully insulated they're also water resistant and um, they have a layer here of some uh, material that uh, make the insulation in the summertime these boots are hot and they will make your your uh, foot uh, sweaty if you wear them like in a really really hot day so a lot of people uh, choose not to wear uh, these boots during summertime good for the outdoor good for uh, going hunting and walking in the woods uh, really really nice for work though, if you work in concrete, this type of uh, wet sole will be good. It will be it will keep you comfortable on your feet uh, the full day. But if you walk on like hardwood uh, hardwood floor, very slippery. So you better be careful. And if you uh, try to wear these ones on an icy snowy day, uh, for sure you're gonna fall off because. The wet sole, for some reason, they are really, really slippery. So that's the one thing that I didn't like about them. Other than that, uh, gray boots. Um, I I didn't think I was going to develop the taste for this style of boot, but I actually like them. And uh, uh, not just for work, but I think I, I could wear this ones for running errands in town. Uh, maybe even going out to lunch with, uh, with a significant other or... Taking it to a kid's um, activity at school, they are really good boots for pretty much anything. Um, some of the changes I did, I did I, this ones I put some rawhide uh, laces. I happen to to enjoy the look of uh, rawhide laces in my boots. And um, other than that, I keep conditioning like every six months, and they're doing good. They already have a lot of patina on it. Uh, from work and uh, had some scarves on it and they're doing good I think uh, I'll give them a couple of years and I think they're gonna be fine um, I don't know if somebody out there had the opportunity to experience uh, these boots and if they want to share their thoughts in the comment section I will appreciate that I'm trying to develop this channel and include some uh, footwear uh, videos and um, have a, a conversation about footwear in the comment section. So if you are one of those persons that have experience with the Mokto uh, Irish Setters, uh, please share your thoughts with us. 
and I will appreciate it. Also, I will appreciate it if you decide to subscribe to the channel and come back here for more videos and have a good community uh, going in the in this channel. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.